Abuja has become the refuge camp for regional renegades. Go and look at all the people in the National Assembly. See where they're coming from. Look at the governors that messed up their state to no, to, to no end. They are all senators in the place. They never return from the place. Once they go there, they hang in there. After a while, they begin to lobby to become minister. The ones who are ministers go and become governor. The ones who are governor go and become senators. All kinds of nonsense. They just they have moved away from where you can reach them. The younger people should ask their parents, their uncles. The circumstances under which Ibrahim Bangida now to, had to hasten up the movement to Abuja from Lagos. They were moving away from where the people could ask them what they are doing. And in that place where they are, oh, God save you if you do not take down the constitution upon which they stand to be able to do what they are doing. That's why we're inviting you. Ninas is inviting all of those whose future have been mortgaged, whose future have been castrated, who are going to die in poverty that is only going to increase. The ones who will have to join those who have already fled in their Jagba syndrome. Can we all come to pull our energies together, stand behind the proposition of Nina that we should leave everything about the election, including the one that has gone inconclusive under this constitution, and insist on transition. That is the road to safety from where we are now. Everything will end in disaster with unquantifiable human carnage, with unquantified damage, unquantifiable damage to the destinies of millions of people. I would think that if there was any urgency about making a U-turn, kudos to Professor Reverend Father Anthony Akinwale, who was able to describe it perfectly. He said, we have no project. That is, we have not agreed to be in union. What do we do? How do we move forward? He said, move forward to where? If you're on the wrong road, Nigeria has been traveling on the wrong road since 1966. That's how we got to where we are now. We left the Federal Foundation. We build, began to build on a fraudulent unitary foundation. We have to make a U-turn. If there was any urgency about making that U-turn, it is now that people are dying in the numbers we see everywhere you look. More death. If they are not being slaughtered in the plateau, they are being slaughtered in Southern Kaduna. If they are not burning up in flames in cocoa, they are burning up in rivers where a uh, crude refinery will catch flame. We must now join to insist that we go to transition and sort out this matter. The alternative is that unilateral actions will overtake everybody. Those who have been slaughtered are not going to endure killings. Those whose economic assets are detained by this country are not going to be here forever. Those who sit in Abuja are thinking that they've conquered everybody. Nobody can talk to us. We are the ones who will do it. You think our sovereignty has been ceded to you? The National Assembly's mandate does not include constitutional making. It's law making. There are two different things. You better come on the side of those who want to pull down this constitution. Otherwise, you will be a victim.